And if you want to go up and take some photos of the show, then by all means do so. Yeah, that's, that's brilliant. Thank you. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're here at Davidson's Homes headquarters here in Ibstock, Leicestershire. Reading from the website, builders and placemakers. Davidson's Homes is a family owned and managed company. We've been building quality homes for three generations. Our head office is based in Ibstock, Leicestershire, where over 60 years ago, my grandfather, Albert Henry Wilson, started a small joinery business. Whilst we've grown to be much bigger than the joinery business, we're proud that we're still we're proud that we still have our very own joinery shop here at Ibstock. In 2019 we opened Davidson's Homes South Midlands and now we build fantastic new homes throughout both the East and South Midlands. The Davidson's timeline tells the story of our family business, which I'll just show you just there. So there's a lot of house builders around the UK at the moment. Davidson's is one that I do recognize being from the Midlands and I didn't know they had their head office here. So let's find the reception, tell them what we're gonna do and go from there. Uh, have we got any signs to tell us where to go? Let's have a look at this sign outside. So reception to the left, deliveries only that way. So let's follow the signs to reception. Yeah, I just wanted to, to let you know, and um, before anybody's raised the alarm or anything, I'm just gonna make a video from the outside. I'll just be out there for about half an hour. Just gonna fly my drone over to get some aerial photography of the site. So, no, I'll do it from outside, you see. So you don't need permission, it's just polite of me just to let you know. Right, okay then. All right. All right. Yeah, thank you. You coming through? Yes, thank you. There you go. Thank you very much. It looks nice. So there we go. We've been courteous. Let them know what we're going to do. So let's get it done, shall we? So back at the deliveries entrance, it does mention Albert Henry Interiors, where it all began. They've got Swift Plant on site as well and Building Heroes. I wonder what that's all about. They've got an old social distancing sign here and it is located on a fairly busy road, not majorly busy. I think deliveries come in, they park on the yellow hashed area and use that phone there. So it's a self-service. I'll let you know when I've arrived, no gatehouse or security. Bit strange, isn't it, with, the, with them having swift plant hire on site. You can just drive straight in. Not ideal. So again, reading from their website, their current developments. See if they've got one near you. <laughs> Ashby de la Zouche, hands like walking on shoe. Halton, Rugby, Huggles Coat, Leicestershire, Huggles Coat again, Lower Barden, Little Bowden, Market Harbour, Mapley Plains in Nottinghamshire, Market Harbour again, Leicestershire, and again, Melbourne in Derbyshire, Methersall, Bedfordshire, Morton, Derbyshire, New Lovers Hall, Leicestershire, Rushton, Rockhamptonshire, Salby, Leicestershire, Tamworth, Staffordshire. And I think you get the gist. All around this part of the UK. So they have been very well behaved so far. They've not come out. They've left us alone. Brilliant. So whilst it's quiet, we'll just cross the road and from over there, we'll get the drone out. And let's see what this place looks like from above. Oh wow, look at this coming down here. It looks like a push bike, but it's got a motor. Oh my God, that was a push bike with a motor. I'm going to bring that into slow motion so we can have a good look at that one. Uh, 
So we've checked on drone assist. There are no flight restrictions in this area. So let's go and have a look at Davidson's Homes, Building Heroes, Swift Plant Hire, and Albert Henry Interiors. Shall we? Now there's no need to introduce where I went <laughs> because I literally only went in that door there. Held the door open for the catering lady. And immediately we can see some solar panels on the roof there. That's great to see. We have a little link, a footway link, joining both buildings up. And we've even got some roof access. So lots of staff car parking around the front. But it's down the back, we want to see. So this orange sign here indicates that this is Swift Plant Hire area. UPS just making their delivery there. So a couple of telehandlers and some bricks and a person lift. And that's all they've got for you to hire out. <laughs> unless more of it is inside. Down at the back, we have a bit of a scaffold yard. Yeah, the standard size scaffold tubing. And the scaffold boards. We've got some thick fittings in there. More tubes and boards, maybe the fittings are in here, look. So lots of bricks. What do they do, pass it through the fence? <laughs> because next door we do have Ibstock brick on the previous video. Lots of shipping containers for storage, a metal skip there. So where is this joinery shop? Apologies for the noise, standing right next to this busy road, but still on the footpath, nice and safe. Now we've got an open shutter there, let's see if we can see anything in there. More machinery, maybe that building is also swift plant hire as well they're doing something there as well are they cleaning it oh we've got some sort of buggy being cleaned ah very nice any more open shutters for us guys yeah we've got one over here so let's take a little peek and it is wood related. So this will be Albert Henry Interiors, the joinery experts in their temporary buildings. I bet they get a bit cold in the winter. Shall we have a look at their gutters for them? Because this roof is showing me signs it needs a quick gutter inspection. And we do have some growth in the gutters there, look. And how clean are your solar panels? If you wanted to know, there you go. Doesn't look like the birds have pooed on these much. They look very good condition. There you go, complimentary service. I'll just get a bit lower for you, so you can see what these gutters really look like. There you go. Not too bad. I think they're a pass on the gutter inspection. So what else do we have? Come on, give us some interesting things to look at. 
lots of wood. Surprised it's being stored outside. This type of wood, not ideal. And down in this corner, we have the cement mixers, the generators, the skips, more telehandlers, wow. An expensive corner. And what's that backing up onto it? Ibstock Bricks Fire Escape. So they're very hungry in this place. I've got another vehicle delivering lunch. <laughs> oh dear. So maybe that platter that we saw earlier was for um, the boss's conference meeting of some sort. Shall we have a quick look to see who's getting their lunch? Oh, the canopy's covering them. So let's have a little look in this gap. We've got Swift Plant Hire again there. Their gutters look fine as well. So that is about it. Let's get nice and high. Do our 360 degree shot before we wrap this one up. And there we have Albert Henry interiors and the extraction that they need working with wood and obviously they outgrew this little building here so they made some temporary buildings to their left so that's it nice and high 360 degree shot and bring david back So that was Davidson's Homes. It's interesting to see that they use this as the uh, storage facility for the scaffold at the headquarters. And they team up with Swift Plant, you know, using somebody else for the machinery, let them do all the maintenance, have all the overheads on that type of thing. So close to Ibstock Brick great relationship there I bet and hopefully they support other local businesses as well so having their presence here in Ibstock would benefit the local community oh another dangerous overtake there lot in a 40 I think this is 30 down here and then it gets to 40 down there so it looks like they even have their own app or signing in and out system called Davidson's Hub, where when you arrive on site, you sign in and you sign yourself out. Never heard of that before. So that's about it from Wilson House. I'd love to know why they called it Wilson House. Let me Google that. I've been reading through various web pages and it's Hard to make sense of it. So I shall be asking the ladies in reception for a quick summary before I leave. I'm just about to leave now, um, but do you know the history of the place? Do you know how it's got Albert Wilson started it as a joinery shop? Yes. And that, that's still at the back yes. there with that name on. Then it moved to David Wilson. Yes. Then it became David Sons. Yes. Or is it still David Wilson and David Sons? No, it's David Davidson's Developments Limited. Are you okay, Cheryl? So David Wilson is no longer a house builder, is that right? I'm not sure on that. I don't know about that. This is Davidson's. Davidson's. Do you think they may have sold the David Wilson name and just kept Davidson's? Right. Because you've got a great website, it tells you the timeline, but I'm just a little confused. I want to tell the story correctly. Is it? From the public footpath. Yeah. Oh, who am I? Yeah. Just a YouTuber. Just a YouTuber. Yeah. Because you've still got David Wilson, the chairman, involved, haven't you? Yeah. 
And you've got James. Just, just let me, just take a seat. I'll get some to come out and speak to you. All right, okay, thank you. Okay, Dan. Dan, sorry, is that right, Cheryl? Yes, it's perfect. Yeah, okay. Can I be sure? Yeah, sorry. Um, I'm not expected or anything. I normally just do my YouTube videos from the public areas. So in I, I, what respect? What? Just a YouTube video, that's all. Oh, right. I'm, I'm thick. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> what, what, what are you, why are you doing them? Yeah, so it's all mainly around industrial estate. So right. I've just been to Ibstock Brick and I noticed you've got a headquarters yeah. here. It's quite unusual. It's not filmed very much. So my YouTube video just goes to anywhere unusual that's interesting that I can speak a little bit about the history and then put it on for people to see. And it always includes a drone going over to get the footage from above. So that's already been done. Right. The drone footage and everything. And I was just about to leave, but I can't make sense of the history. And I didn't know whether you wanted to just clarify that. I'm not, I'm not quite sure what... Forgive me, I'm... What's the purpose of the YouTube video? Just out of interest? Well, when you go to somewhere that's interesting and film it, people like to view that footage because there's a lot of people that maybe live in a Davidson home that have heard of it, that are builders, that also work for a house builder and they want to see how Davidson's site looks from above and from the outside. Right. In its headquarters, you're bound to get people interested in it, aren't you? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because well, <laughs> well, what well, made me first think about this um, name, Wilson House, so that came from David Wilson, but that doesn't now relate to Davidson's, does it? Wilson House doesn't relate to the word Davidson's, so I was just wondering, why did you move from David Wilson and to Davidson's? Was it just a, a rebrand? Or have you... No, 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 it's a different business. So was David Wilson sort of sold to someone else? Yeah, Barrett's. Ah, I've got you, okay. So then you started up Davidson's yeah. with the same team, but just no, sold... No, not really. Different team, but some people are the same. Right, some okay. Some people are different. You kept the joiner, the joinery arm of the business? No. Oh, that, right. The jewellery arm of the business went with Barrett's, but we've created a new jewellery arm. Right, okay. Yeah, because I noticed that. It's got its own sign written building at the back. Yeah. And you've got the, the plant hire as well yeah. on site. So you work closely with local businesses, supporting them. I've noticed you, you support charities as well. I saw yeah. that somewhere. And, and also a close relationship with Ibstock Brick, who's next door. Yeah. Because you use them for your tiles and stuff. I've read it all. Yeah, but yeah. That, that was just what I was unsure about, about where, where the David Wilson name. Oh, I see what you mean. Where, where that this got lost. This is absolutely nothing to do with David Wilson. Okay. David Wilson Homes. So David Wilson do have their own head office somewhere? Yeah. Hi. Borden. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. and you just cover East and South Midlands? Yeah. Okay, and your largest project to date was Meridian? No, 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 that's David Wilson Homes. That was Wilson that, Bowden, actually. That was when you was David Wilson? Okay. When... I've just bought that whole It's a completely unconnected business. Because on your website, you have mentioned the, um, the monumental yeah. um, Meridian Homes. Yeah. Meridian Business Park. By the late 1980s, 80s, David Wilson Homes becomes a yeah. public limited company. David Wilson Homes. Yeah, this but, to do with David Wilson Homes. but because that's on the David Sons yeah. Homes website, you're making a sort of claim on their behalf. No, aren't you're not. no, no, no. It's <laughs> just in the history of the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is, no, that's a fact. Yeah. But it's absolutely nothing to do with David Sons. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, because my focus of the YouTube channel is just filming in public yeah. of anything interesting. Would you class your show home as, as like a public place where the public are welcome in to do some filming? Could I possibly go to one of those and show my viewers? Now I've been to the head office and I've, I've shown them where, where it's ran from, where the brains are. Would you like sort of give me permission as a director to go to one of your homes just to finish the video off inside? Um, well, they are available on our website anyway. Yeah, I've noticed there's so one I'd in Ashby. you link to one of the website. Yeah, I'll pull the links in. I'll show you the website, but can I physically go now in my car to a show home and do some filming inside. Is that all right? Um, Just that, to show them the finished product. You'd actually struggle today because they're all closed. Oh, are they? What's yeah. the best day? Um, depending where. I mean, I was going to Barden. I'm quite happy for you to do that at Barden. Yeah, is that all right? Yeah. And take the drone around yeah. there, show them inside one as well, um, just to finish off the video. I would no, I don't want you to take the drone around. Well, if it's, if it's open airspace, then we always do that. All right, well, all I'm saying is I'm not giving you permission to do it. If you do it because that's the norm, then you do it. Yeah, um, yeah. it'll be great. It'll be great for people to see. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
but it is obviously an active building site. So, I, but I'm I'm quite happy to do that. But then, if you want to go up and take some photos of the show, and then by all means do so. Yeah, that's that's brilliant. Thank you. What was your name? Jason Glover. Jason Glover, yeah. and you are a director, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks yeah. for clearing up the David Wilson part. That yeah, was sold to right. Barrett's. That's all it, right. It's certainly not clear from when I've just been reading the history. Uh, well, I mean, and again. It's not clear because we are not allowed to link to Barrett's or David Wilson's name because they right. paid a lot of money for the name. Got right, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And is Davidson's homes currently bigger than what David Wilson? No, 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 no. Oh, no. So oh, no, no, no. You're no. still smaller, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that was a that was a big that was a nationwide company. Right. And yeah. is it just south? Is it the Midlands? Are you, yeah. are you got, you're going to grow all around the Midlands? Is that the aim? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Well, thank you so much. Yeah, right. I know you're a busy chap. That's all right. Thanks for um, being that's accommodating. All right. no, that's all right, that's all right. So what do, you, what do you do? Just do this out of interest, do you? Yep. So on YouTube, you get paid when people watch the adverts. Oh, I see. So there is a financial benefit. Oh, right, OK. As long as you create the content that the viewers want to see, and I've found that covering sort of industrial estates and unusual places mm. like this, they have got a, a target audience. Have they? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, especially with the drone footage going over. So it's, uh, you know, all, all the behind the scenes oh, no, areas. Fuck. It's like behind the scenes, nobody ever, ever gets to go no. down there. And I know you have got the open access, but it's only polite of me to come in and inform reception and then return to the public road. Mm, if you've okay. got people wandering in inside, oh, that's no, a I'm secure. Glad, I'm glad that. No, 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 it's, it's certainly not, It's not what we do. No. Okay. So right. thank you. Uh, well, no handshakes down there, but oh, yeah, <laughs> do we do a fist bump? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. So, Davidson's Homes. We can't go to the show home today, but I won't post this video until we do get to that show home. So, bye-bye from the headquarters. Let's cut now and go to the show home. All right then guys, here we are at Davidson's Homes, Grange View, Lower Barden, Leicestershire. Looks really nice. And they have got a couple of show homes. It says show home this way. Oh, we've got the marketing suite. So we'll just, uh, we'll just present ourselves and we'll have a little look around. Hello. Hiya. Hi. Yeah. And um, a few days ago, I went to the head office, just did some filming around there, and I mentioned that I was going to come and just do some filming in the show home yeah. and just take the drone around. Yeah. So I'll just. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's okay. fine. Thank yeah. you. Which one is it? Both of them. Both of the show homes. Yeah. All right. Thank you. No problem. That was nice. So the first time we've ever filmed a show home. Let's get the main camera out. And have a look around, shall we? Welcome to our show home. And this one is called the Darlington. Nice little porch on the front. Lovely bricks. <laughs> nice bay window upstairs. And nice sash windows, I think they're called. A nice little ding dong. <laughs> is anyone in here? Don't think anyone's in here. Let's press the bell. Ooh, very posh. So as soon as you come in, we've got a little office to the left. Space for two laptops. Now they want you to put the blue cover shoes. So I'll do that. There we go. Keep the carpet all nice and clean. So to the right, a nice size. Wall mounted TV with loads of sockets down in the corner. One radiator on that wall and one radiator behind here with a window so you can see who's at the front door from there as well. So Door to the left, a little downstairs loo with a small sink. Door under the stairs, just a little storage area. 
with the broadband under there, open reach. Takes you into the kitchen. An island to the left. All fitted appliances as you would expect. Are they soft clothes as well? Let's have a look. Yeah. Little utility room there. I presume this is the boiler. Yep, a nice logic heat boiler. A door to outside, which I normally lock. Yep. And what's this? A curtain. Oh, the curtain rail goes around. So it, when it's open, it's out the way. That's good. Full length windows and doors into a garden, which they're never normally large gardens in these new builds, but they have got an outdoor kitchen for the children. Obviously, yeah, you put what you want in your own garden. So a nice space there for the dining room table and even an area for living in the kitchen. A telly, wall mounted TV again, and some fitted units down on floor level with two more doors leading outside and as you would expect they are locked so we've got doors to outside there and there and you've got a garage to the left with a gate there as well so let's have a look upstairs we're getting through this one quick and there is a mirror up there so straight ahead is the bathroom We've got a shower which is just fed by the tap. A walk-in shower. That's nice. Lovely, shiny, glossy, tiled floors. Yeah. To the right, we have a double bedroom with fitted wardrobes. Not a bad depth on them. What's the view like? Standard view for new builds. All you can see is people's back gardens. Out the back. Into the next room. Not the biggest, but it has got a double bed in. Got some fitted wardrobes here. With two rails. One and two. Not bad. A door here that will take you into the water tank. The hot water tank. Is what it is and the second smaller room so that's three bedrooms in total one seems to be a nice size and this second one is just a little box but it does fit a double bed and it has got some wardrobe space there so coming around we've got a bit of a, a landing upstairs landing which you can see down to the front door that's nice with a window out to the front and then leading into the master with a lovely bay window there. To the left, we have got a walking wardrobe, walk in wardrobe times two, made by Albert Henry, who we saw on the previous headquarters site. So the joinery here will all be stamped by Albert Henry. So you'll get good quality on the joinery with their skills. And then the walk-in shower there in the ensuite. Lovely light fittings. But obviously with the show home, they have put extras in. The extras in this room are flooring, curtains, light fittings and soft furnishings. But if you are the last people to buy the houses on this estate, you can buy the show home fully furnished. So that's show home number one. Let's go next door and have a look in show home number two. So this one, no bay windows, but lovely sash style windows. It's called the Newstead. We have got a ding dong. <laughs> if no one's in here, I will press it again. And nobody's in there, so here we go. Oh, the ding dong not working. We rolled out the red carpet for you. Wow, look at the space inside this uh, front hallway area. It's absolutely massive. So once again, we'll put the shoe coverings on. And to the left, 
we have the living room, which is the full length of the house. With the connections to the TV down in this corner. Yeah, lovely. And you can see the size of this internal hallway from this angle. Look at all that. So to the right is the little office. Nice size. And they've even got a little display to show you the external wall insulation. At Davidson's Homes, our external cavity walls are constructed utilizing the most enhanced energy efficient insulation on the market to ensure the warmth is kept inside and the cold is kept outside. Our external walls are twice as energy efficient compared to home construction in the 1980s. That's what it looks like. What's behind there? Oh, just some more sockets. So a door here, which leads to the downstairs loo and sink and extractor fan. We always see extractor fans in these new builds. Keeps all the air circulating. And then we go into the kitchen where we've got a massive dining room table and they're using the whole height of the house in that area. Got a massive island with the kitchen and a sofa on that side. It's absolutely huge. Doors will open the whole width. And again, a nice size garden for a new build. And the utility room there. Wow. So let's have a look. Oh, we've got a little door here, which is just for coats and boots and just under the stair storage. Let's have a look upstairs. Immediately straight ahead is the Bathroom, bath with shower there leading from the taps again, and the walking shower there. Nice fittings. To the left, a small room that fits a double bed in, and some storage there. Over the balcony area, which looks down, at the dining room table, that is very nice, this little area here, which is straight into the master bedroom where you've got the ensuite. That's huge. Fitted wardrobes. And these pieces of glass which brings the light in from the dining room roof area, ceiling area, just here. That's very nice. And then we go behind this door will be the hot water tank again. Yep. With some shelves for your towels, maybe. Another bedroom which fits a double bed in. And another. <laughs> now this one is three story. So we go up the stairs again. brings you into the loft area where wow they've got a bar how amazing is that with a toilet shower some storage which go all the way to the left and to the right amazing storage area that a little seating area for your bar <laughs> if you choose to do that with that space and one final bedroom, which is absolutely massive with windows on this side, which allow you to see the greatest distance away. Lovely fields in the distance there. Someone walking the dog. Wardrobes. And once again, another view of the front. This one is located just off the M1 the A511 in Barden near Colville, Leicester. And it's got Bellway Homes across the road. 
So the extras in this room, curtains, chrome sockets and switches, flooring, soft furnishings, light fittings and wardrobes. So even the curtains. So that's about it. Two show homes done. What did you think? Amazing. And the build quality as well, you know, all the joinery, they've got their own joiners, so they're not gonna put bad workmanship to their own name, are they? Looks really nice. So, now we've looked inside the two show homes and we've seen the professionalism of the staff in the sales office. We've had a look around the headquarters. There's only one final thing to do and that's get the drone out and have a look around Davidson Homes building site. So we're now back outside. That's what the Darlington looks like. And that is what the Newstead looks like. And the free story, we was all the way up there looking out that window. So now we're outside on the public footpath, as we always do, we'll stand over there somewhere. Let's get David up. So as always, we've checked on drone assist. There are no flight restrictions in this area. Let's have a look at Davidson's Homes, Grange View, a development of two, three, four, and five bedroom homes here in Barden, Leicestershire. Let's see what it looks like from above. So we'll come back a tiny bit we can see the two show homes that we went in and the little sales office the marketing suite they've called it so that marketing suite just there will become the garage of this one here when they're finished with it because the garage for the one next to it is there look so how many have they got ready how many people have moved in? See how far it stretches back. Wow, stretches back all the way there. But this section that they're working on now, they've only got workmen on the road it seems. No vehicles parked on driveways. These ones have got the turf in already. So they can't be far off from being ready to be moved in. That one has got vehicles on the drive. So it must be just this section here which is being finished. So we'll stay away from the people that have moved in and we'll just look at the people, just look at the homes that are still waiting for owners or owners to move in which I would say is this lot here so it's interesting to see the different colors of roof they don't like to keep it all the same do they and it's interesting to see how the garage gets built before the main house maybe so they can store some insulation and materials in the garage maybe and it's also interesting how they use the back gardens as the road for the construction vehicles to keep them off the main tarmac road. Let's take them behind the gardens. What else is interesting that we can see? Let's get some height on it. Down there is obviously the builder's compound where they have the cement storage. Well, storage for everything. The blocks, the plant, the window frames. And all the deliveries will go to there as they've come down this road here and entered the site through this a gate here. So let's have a look at these ones that have just had their foundations done. The ones to the left are just having their roof done as you can see. And 
there we've got a 360 which is stopped at the moment that one don't have any windows just yet and that one's got some wood which is holding the window frames in place that one's got the bricks ready for the bricklayers to crack on on Monday because we are filming this on a Friday. The show homes are not open on, I think it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, open Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, something like that. So we had to come today. And we can just see how they do it in levels. Start from the bottom and work your way up. And we can see the gardens have got some sort of retaining wall where the level is obviously different. So if you're living at the back, you'll be looking down on the houses behind. And across the road, we've got different builders. I can see Bellway, I can see Redro and I can see Davidson's. So let's get nice and high. Let's take the panoramic 360 degree photo. We have even got a train track. Over there, look. And I think there's even a signal box. Yeah, at the crossing. So that's the whole site in the shot. Looking from the back corner, focusing on the houses that are still under construction. So from this point, let's do the 360 degree photo for Google Maps and wrap this one up. And that concludes the video to Davidson's Homes Grange View. I really enjoyed that one. If you have enjoyed that too, do give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one guys. Bye bye for now.